Okay, we're just going to do a little motor burn in here of this iDrone D, what the hell is it? DM009. I picked this up pretty cheap. I think it was like 40 bucks or something. It's got the Wi Fi, um, you know, it's got the Wi Fi video transfer deal. So, you know, believe me, I'm not expecting miracles. Trust me. Trust me, I'm not expecting. I'm not expecting miracles with this thing. Um, I got the controller laid out already. Um, you know, you do the calibrating by holding it in. Okay, then to arm the motors, you hold it out. Headless mode, you press this in. Um, take off and landing, you press in that one. The flips are right here. And then to hold the button in all the way for the uh, return to China. And then this is the rate button over here. I like the controllers that are white that aren't labeled, so that way you can mark on them with marker. The black ones, you have to put little pieces of tape on there, and it gets real tacky looking, you know, after a while, so you just got to deal with that. So we'll try to uh, see what we can do about getting this one broke in, get it out to the field here in a couple of days, and get it get it going, because I want to do the... Um, I want to get the uh, the typhoon going. I started the video. I want to get the typhoon going, and uh, tomorrow. So I'm going to be taking that up tomorrow. So let's just see what this one does here. Oh, it's very quiet. Very quiet. I got the video recording actually. You can get see some video of some trees. Because I'm just back here in the back. Cause I, after I had them couple big crashes on these quads, I just break them in now before I do, I do full reviews or do any serious kind of test flying with these things. I break them in a little bit, you know, just to see uh, what they'll do, you know. Just to make sure there, I mean, if it's going to screw up, it's probably going to screw up early. Because those couple that I had, did, those catastrophic crashes, there's a flip. There's another one. Oh, you get two batteries with this thing, too. So, that's, um, that's pretty nice. That's, you know, that they give you two batteries is pretty cool, actually. So... Yeah, it flies nice. Real nice, actually. I'm pretty impressed with it. Yeah, actually, it flies real nice. If you're into flips, which I'm not, but I have to put them in here for these videos, for the kids, for the kiddies. Uh... Yeah, you'll like it. They got the two, uh, they give you the two batteries and the, um, the prop guards, or not the prop guards, they give you them too, but I never use them. But the, uh, landing gear, it just snaps on, so you don't need to, you know, you don't need to have any of that, um, just none of that screwdriver crap with those little, those little midget screws or anything like that. Check the yaw speed out not bad now that was only in the first rate all what I've been doing so far has only been in the first rate so now it's in the third rate let's see if it does any flips different some of these quads start flipping automatically when you put them in the third rate it does it's about the same it's about the same. It was, I don't know, it was like 42 bucks or something like that for this thing. Yeah, it was about 42 bucks.
something like that. It flies nice, man. I mean, tell you, it handles real nice. Handles real nice. Definitely, definitely steers real nice. Let's check the headless mode out. See if that's worthy. Sometimes you got to set these down and recalibrate them to, to work the headless mode. Yeah, it's a little wonky. So I'll have to set it down and set it down and, um, you know, that's typical of landing on concrete. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, some of them, some of these quads, they won't go into the headless mode while you're in flight. You have to set them down, uh, you know, turn off the transmitter. Turn it back on. Bind it back. This one here, you have to go up and down twice, by the way, with the binding. Okay, I'm going to recalibrate. And then we'll turn on the headless mode and take off. I mean, some of them will just do it on the fly. Some of these quads will do it. But you'll know, you know, when you try to do it and it doesn't do it, and it doesn't act right, then you just bring it down, turn off the transmitter, and you put the higher rate on. And then we'll try the headless mode. Yeah, it's working now. Yeah, you just turn off the transmitter. And uh, rebind it, and recalibrate it, and then set the headless mode in before you take off. That's the way I always do it. If I'm going to use that, uh, if I'm going to use that option, you know. Well, I'll tell you my initial impressions of this thing. I don't want to get into a long video, but my initial impressions of this thing are pretty favorable. I mean it. It's pretty quick, too. It's got a really nice pitch to it, as you can see. And, oh, by the way, it's hot as fucking balls out here, too. God, it's Pittsburgh. It's been 90 every damn day this week. It's been actually too hot to fly quads, to stand out there in the parks in that blazing sun. Hell with that. I'd rather work. <laughs> I'd rather work than stand out in the middle of them ball fields when it's 90 degrees outside, sweating like dogs. Hell with that. Okay, I got a decent landing there. I'll do a full uh, flight on this out at the field in a couple of days. I got to get out there and make some videos after uh, I fly that typhoon tomorrow, so... I'm going to try to save this video before uh, I shut it off. Because always got to remember to do that crap too. I mean that video there lasted nine minutes. So this battery lasts a long time. I'm not exactly sure uh, what the size of it is. I think it's a 650 or a 700. But um, the only thing I would say about this, what I didn't like... In my little preliminary, um, you know, when I put it together and um, turned it on, the motors got a little warm too, but that's, that's no big deal. It's hot out here, so um, the only thing I didn't like about it was getting the battery hooked up it was kind of a real pain to get the battery plugged into the quad and then you had to plug in the camera with this little midget wire right here and it was kind of hairy to get that in but it does have an on and off switch so you can preload this thing before you take it out and get it all set you don't have to do it out there in the field and then they just turn the switch on you know at least they do that option for you where they give you this they give you the switch I, I, I hate quads that don't have a damn on and off switch it, I hate that but anyway, and you can use your balance. They give you a little charger with it, but you can use your balance charger for it. And the battery goes down in here. 
but it's kind of a pain. Well, you see it just popped out. It's a this this little cable down here to plug the battery into. You see how short that is? It's a real pain to get that plugged in. A real pain. And the battery's real hot too. And it's a um it's a seven point four six hundred. Alright. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll uh I'll put some video at the end because, you know, you want to see the full screen goodness, the, f the full screen goodness of this stuff. But besides these little minor, these little minor gripes about uh, plugging the battery in and uh, the plug in the camera in, other than that minor stuff, this thing seems to fly really nice, so... I think this will be uh, a pretty decent, uh, a pretty decent quad right here, because it's uh, it's steered real nice and it's pretty quick and it has three rates on it, so I think it'll be pretty nice. All right, guys, thanks for watching.